Hey everyone, this is Jamie. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are all going to just sort of wing it. No, not really. But I have an idea that was actually given to me by a follower on Instagram. And I, I just asked the question, what would you like to see next? I have limited product I can use, Art Walk, collection by Heidi Swap. And I am going to make a thing. I need to make, I don't know what. That's why I decided, well, I'm gonna ask. And one of the ideas that came up was what's called a stuffed envelope or loaded envelopes. And so I looked that up and I'm like, huh, that's actually really cute. That could be a lot of fun. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through the six by eight art walk paper pad, picking out some colors that I think are gonna complement. I have here a six by eight piece of chipboard that I'm going to cover. So here's what I think we're gonna do. I believe I'm going to cover the chipboard with a background paper. Don't know which that is yet. Then I'm gonna make, I think I can make about three envelopes here that we're just gonna stuff with. I have a bunch of pictures here. I don't even have to cut them all yet from um, a birthday party. I'm doing a lot of catch up in my albums here at home and I came across this party for one of my daughters. I have not printed photos out for or told the story about yet. And I wanted to do that. So it's going to go in this loaded envelope and that's what I'm getting ready to do now. So I'm gonna make a decision. I like to use the patterns that just really complement one another. I'm not real big on contrast. There's a lot of people who are out there who are great about that. I'm just not, it's just, it just, it doesn't work for me very well. Not yet, but maybe someday it will. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. I'm not sure, it's got a little green in it. Got these great tags here that we're gonna use. We're going to use those tags as well. So I think for the most part, I can just sort of walk you all through what I'm going to be doing here. And sometimes I might speed this up. It just sort of depends. I am all for a real subtle background because that way these other papers can play on here. I think this would be fun here in the front. So let's go with that. But one thing I am realizing, what's probably not gonna work very well here is making the envelopes and if they have a folded edge, this paper's not gonna be wide enough if I keep it in that format. These obviously I can go like this and make envelopes. You'll see what I mean here in a second. So we're gonna have to play with this a little bit. I might even just add, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add some folded tabs. So first we're gonna cover this paper. I'm gonna use my glue stick here. Cardstock can be a little funny about how it likes to take adhesive. So I am going to channel Vicki Booten here and pull out the cardstock. And these all papers come with this little tab on top and I'm just going to tear that off. Hopefully a good clean cut and just gonna carefully make sure I get this cause I'm using this whole entire sheet cause the pattern paper is six by eight. So is the chipboard. I like to use this handy dandy, I'm probably shaking the camera here. I like to use this handy dandy little scraper if you will, especially when I'm using a glue stick. It just kind of burnishes everything in place. I'm just using 100 grit paper here just to kind of pull up these sides and pull some of the white from underneath. This would be me channeling Heidi Swap. This is where I got this from. I don't think I was sanding edges until I saw her like do it religiously everywhere. And I just love the look. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna make the envelopes. Okay, so now we have this great covered background. And so you're saying, what are we gonna do next? The idea is I'm thinking that is about, I'm thinking going about three inches high for each of the envelopes. And what's probably gonna have to happen is starting at the top first so that the next envelope can overlap it a little bit and then a little bit. So this is eight inches. So that'll be no problem with three inch envelopes overlapping each other. And as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking I actually am probably gonna have this one on the bottom. And the reason is, is because the color is much brighter and vibrant than the rest of these colors. And I still might even change my mind about what color I'll be using here. That That's still subject to change. I think it'll be okay to have this on the top. I think it'll still show. And then this will be number two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut three inches off of here. 
three inches on the bottom part I think is going to give me, I don't want to cut through the writing. So I think I'm gonna go right there. Okay, so what's gonna to need to happen next, since this is exactly the size, the dimensions rather, of my background, I've grabbed a scrap piece of paper. I keep scraps of this white cardstock in my stash. I never know when I'm gonna need it for anything. And so I don't try to keep everything. I, I eventually go through and de-stash it, but at least it's there and I am always quick and always needful for some white cardstock. Okay, I'm going to make this one longer because of the bottom edge of our envelope. I'm going to keep this out because I want to now use the scoreboard on here for making about fold about halfway through. So that's going to be at half inch. And you're going to see this come together. I've used this technique for other things before, but I'm just basically making a slot so it can be like a pocket. And maybe I shouldn't use envelope for my term. Maybe it's more like a pocket. I saw them on, in, on Pinterest using both terms, either loaded pocket or loaded envelope. So either way, go and check that out and you're gonna see a lot of inspiration and maybe this will then inspire you to make your own. Okay, so I have my three guides, my bottom guide. I'm gonna trim this up some, it's gonna be a little too long. I prefer to use for something like this, a double sticky tape. I think it's more secure. And so all I'm gonna be doing here right now is just applying this adhesive and then adding in my, uh, what do I wanna call those? There's gotta be a name for those. There has got to be a name for those. Channels, pockety things. I don't know. Let me get this done and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so you notice what I've done. Here's the front of this pocket. Turn it over. I put my channels in and then I went ahead and put adhesive on top of the channels and that's what's going to adhere to the background. Now I have to make a decision and I think I already know. Do I want this to go all the way to the top? Should it have been a little smaller than three inches? or what? You know, sometimes you just don't know these things until you try. And I think my answer is, is that it needs to come down a little bit like that. So I have a, a top here because I don't want things, I don't mind things sticking out when we get to that place. You're going to see what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, let's just live on the edge, guys, and put that right there. And I love that be obsessively grateful right there on top. Such a theme in my heart right now anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you on this one, and then I'll do my last one with camera off. But now I'm going to, I'm going to cut this piece to be six. I'm going to do this at seven inches because then I want to have a half inch here that I can score and a half inch here I can score. And instead of making channels like I did for this one, this is going to be its own channel. And I do hope that makes sense. Now this was three inches tall. So we're going to go three and a half because I'm going to need a channel on the bottom edge of this pattern paper. So watch how this happens. And then I will repeat this for my last piece. Coming in here at half inch, coming in here at half an inch. So both sides have half inch channel. I'm not gonna fold those yet. I'm gonna come right here and do a half inch channel. And this is a great basic pocket technique for no matter where you wanna add a pocket, whether in a mini album, in a journal, on a scrapbook page, which I'm kind of thinking I might have some fun just actually adhering this to a scrapbook page when it's all done. Living large here, people. Um, so this is just a real basic pocket technique. It doesn't take any tools except for the scoreboard. Um, and then you don't even have to have a scoreboard. You could still figure out how to fold these in half. I am a fan of a scoreboard. And one of the things I should have done is gone ahead and trimmed off these corners a little bit, just so there's not so much bulk. I can come in here and do that right now. The creases actually sort of help guide where I actually want my cut to be. So when I fold this back in here now, it's just not as much bulk on the, on the outside here. Now the adhesive, the double sticky tape is gonna go here and here and here, and then we're gonna add it to our background.
You want to know what I did? I got really crazy and I used the same paper. I just love paper with big words on it like this. So I'm like, why not just add some more paper? I got more words. I've got more positive vibes going out. It just worked for me and you don't have to do whatever paper combination you want. I'm for sure gonna be playing with this idea again. I'm pretty sure I love this and will want to try out some other combinations. So at this point, your loaded pockets are ready to be loaded. This fits in here perfectly and I think it looks beautiful. I love that. But I think too, you could go in and you could make a small book and add some photos in there. You can add some photos on the front. You have room for journaling, uh, super fun. So that's just gonna stay, it's gonna stay right here because I can't have it covering up my words now, can I? No, that is gonna for sure happen. The words will be covered up and that's actually okay. But I think that's super pretty right there. So I'm gonna finish trimming out my photos. For the most part, you know now how I put together this loaded pocket and this is just full of some fun possibilities. So now I'm gonna go to actually load it up. Mm -hmm. 